2021 was, in, in my mind, probably one of the worst seasons that we've seen. The forest in general is much drier than it has been, and, and the speed that these fires move is fast. Something's changing here in terms of climate, and uh, the drone technology is going to be a, a major player to try to minimize the damage that's done by these fires every year. My name's Tim Stinson. I'm Operations Manager for Stinson Aerial Services here in British Columbia. So BC Wildfire is using drones to identify hotspots for the ground crews or the air crews uh, the following day. What we're trying to do there is remove some of the instances where, where pilots are put into tough positions. Some of the biggest risks for helicopters might be power lines when they're hazed by smoke. So if a drone can be put in that situation, then put pilots where, where they're better suited and are gonna return home at night. So a big part of what we do in wildfires is flying our drones beyond visual line of sight. We have to submit an operational risk assessment in order to qualify for a special flight operation certificate. You have to be an accomplished drone pilot. You have to know the ins and outs of your system. You have to have a lot of trust and faith in your team that they're going to work together, especially in a situation like a wildfire where it's pretty high stakes. It's exciting, but it's, it's also nerve-wracking because there's just so many things that can uh, be safety hazards. The risk involved in this type of flying, I think, is high. Putting a drone into the wrong spot just increases that potential for something to go wrong. And the last thing that a pilot in an aircraft or a helicopter is thinking about is the drone hitting its window. It's really important that people that fly drones understand that it's better that we just keep our personal drones in our pockets during those events. It's a great feeling to use technology for good. Uh, the drone itself can ensure the safety of evacuees or people who are in the path of a wildfire. It can help ensure the safety of wildland firefighter crews. If we can start to utilize these types of systems to be able to move things while we're on the fire lines, I think we'll see some huge advantages over time. In BC alone, we face some of the toughest terrain, some of the most interesting weather, and lots of challenges that if we can overcome these pieces, we'll be able to apply this to many other jurisdictions across Canada.